Hi, I'm Tom and in this quick tip for Revit I will show you how to set up materials for objects which you imported or linked from DWGs from uh, AutoCAD files and those can be either in families like this toilet or they can be linked or imported directly into your Revit project. So in my case I have this toilet family which was created out of DWG file and in my family editor, uh, you actually cannot assign materials to DWG objects directly like this. So how do you set up materials? First, it's important to know how the DWG is set up. So in my cat package, I look at the object and if I select the mesh that's creating the toilet bowl, I can see that it's created on layer porcelana and it's yellow, whereas the lid is on layer tapa, which is purple. So it's important how these objects are placed on layers inside of the DWG before you create fam Revit family from them. So I will switch back to my Revit. And now, how do I set up the materials? First, I will want to change the color of the line work because I don't want it to be yellow and purple. So in the Manage tab, you have Object Styles. And here I will go to Imported Objects. And you can see Imports and Families. And here are all of the layers of all of the DWG imports in my families. And you can see here layer porcelana and layer tapa, which we saw in my DWG file. So I can set up the line work here, thickness, line pattern, but I will just change the color. So from the pink to light gray and from the yellow again to light gray. And when I look at the, look at the 2D views, you can see that the line work color has changed. But when I switch to my camera, the material of the object, of the 3D object, is still the original one. And if I would render this, uh, this view, I would actually get something like this. So the material is through black, so I cannot use it in renderings. So to change the material, I will again go to Manage, Object Styles, Imported Objects, Porcelana, and here you've got material which will be used in Render or in Realistic Mode or in, in, in other modes. And I can change this material by layer and I will change it to Porcelain. Okay, and I will actually also use this material to the lid, to tapa. And you can already see that it has changed the color. And if I rendered the view now, you would see that it looks like this. It has a proper material assigned to it and the render looks good, much better than this one. So this is how you set up materials for DWG imports. I hope this quick tip helped you. If it did, smash the like button and take care.